Hi, welcome to our series on aerodynamics. The very basics of aerodynamics is using vector calculus. Using vector calculus in order to model flow fields. A flow field is an infinite amount of vectors in an area which is describing the movement of the air in that area. And the reason why we do this is we want to build up the use of some of these vector calculus tools that we have in order to be able to model any kind of aerodynamic situation um, and eventually to be able to model the interaction of air and an object uh, like a wing. So what you see here are just some of the fundamental principles of incompressible aerodynamics written in calculus and we're going to take them and apply them in Python. So we will keep coming back to this summary but we're going to be working uh, in Python and this I think gives us uh, kind of a more uh, visual and intuitive problem-solving um, sense of how flow fields work uh, as compared to just doing the calculus on paper. So this is a Python program and you can basically just ignore everything up here. Uh, it's uh, just functions to do with plotting and libraries and things like that. Uh, this is a vector field. Um, the vector field is defined um, just using calculus. Um, we have a Python library for calculus. It's called SimPy. And the vector field that we want to look at in this script is minus 2y uh, times 1 minus x squared. So that's the velocity in the x direction. Um, and in the y direction, um, 2x times 1 minus y squared, that's the velocity in the y direction. Um, and using a, another Python library, which is called matplotlib, uh, we can plot uh, any vector field. So we're going to run this script. And very basically, using just uh, basically two lines of functional code. Um, this is pretty awesome. Uh, we were able to plot um, the whole vector field and turn it into streamlines. So it's following the vectors at every point and drawing a line to show where the air is moving there. Um, so what else can we do? Well, one of the things that's important to know in aerodynamics is what's the stagnation points? Those are the points where this velocity vector field is equal to zero. Um, so we don't have to do this by hand either. Um, we can use Python and we can set it, we can use a solve function um, and that simply solves the algebra here um, and finds however many solutions there are to make this equal to the zero vector. And um, if we run this, now we see um, we have the dots showing where the stagnation points are. Um, this is just a little bit of code which uh, draws the dots, but very simple. <laughs> Other tools that we're going to be using again and again in order to work with flow fields are the divergence and the vorticity. Uh, we already know what the divergence is from calculus. Uh, that's just the amount of stuff going into or out of a point. Um, if it's constant density, incompressible, then uh, there should be no divergence because um, it's the same amount of mass in every small amount of volume, always. Um, we also know the vorticity known from calculus as curl. And we can calculate these things very basically using Python. Um, we see here that the divergence of the field is zero. Uh, that's good. It means, as uh, we assumed, it would be incompressible. Um, and we see the vorticity of the field is a function. Um, and uh, it's kind of neat. Uh, it just, uh, the library that we included just um, create, just calculated the function using uh, the definition of curl. And um, we see that it's a function depending on x and y. Um, and we know from this that it's not zero across the board, and that means that um, this isn't a potential flow. Um, it can't be described 
by a scalar potential function. However, we can describe our flow, and this is the last thing I'm going to show you in this video, by a stream function. And a stream function is where you are describing the flow with streamlines. These are perpendicular um, to what would be the uh, velocity vector lines. And so we just take um, the u and v components and switch them and make one negative, and this is how you get perpendicularity. Um, and we find the scalar function, which when we take the gradient of this function, would give us this vector field. Um, and this can also be easily done in Python. So let's run. Um, and here we have x squared times y squared minus 1 minus y squared. And there's a stream function. Uh, if we take this stream function, we can then use it to generate streamlines. So um, I hope in this video you have seen just a few of the things that you can do with Python and flow fields. And I hope that you'll download this script um, with the video and you will uh, play around with it, put some different vector fields in it, and um, I hope that you also watch the future videos where we're going to be showing you how to do uh, much more complicated things uh, using these basic tools um, in order to model aerodynamics. Thanks.